This is a short video to help you understand prime factorization. Before we start prime factorizing, let's just make a little list of prime numbers for ourselves just to have a bank of numbers that we're going to be able to use in our process. What's the first prime number? So it's 2. Then we have 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and there's loads more of them. But I think we probably have enough to work with here. So we're going to start off by getting the prime factors of 15. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 15 and we're going to repeatedly divide into it using just the prime factors or the prime numbers available to us here. So I'm going to look at my 15 and think, well, what's the smallest prime I can divide into this? So looking at my list, oh yeah, 3 will go into it. So I'm going to divide by 3 and that's going to give me 5. OK, so can I go again? I've got 5 now. Can I divide a prime number into that? Yeah, 5 will go into 5. 5 will go into 5 once. Once I get as far as 1, I know I'm done. And I can find my prime factors down the side of my calculation. It's the 3 and the 5. So 3 and 5 are the prime factors of 15. So I'm going to write down 15 as 3 by 5. And so here 15 is written as the product of its prime factors. OK, let's try a second one. So this time I've got the number 18 and I want to find its prime factors. So again, I'll go back up to my list of prime numbers and I'll say, OK, what can I divide into 18? I'll start at the start. 2 will definitely go into it. OK, so 2 into 18 goes 9. And I can definitely go again because I've got factors for 9. So I can't use 2 again, but I can use 3 this time. So 3 into 9 will go 3 times. I'm not quite there yet because I haven't got down as far as my 1 at the end. So what can I divide into 3? Oh yeah, well, it's just going to be 3, obviously, isn't it? And this time 3 into 3 goes once. I get to 1, I'm done. The prime factors of 18 are listed down the side, so. And I can write 18 as the product of its prime factors. 18 is 2 by 3 by 3. At this stage, I've done what the question asked me to do. I've found the prime factors of 18. But I can actually present this in a slightly nicer, more condensed way if I want, using exponents. I can write this as 2 by 3 squared. The reason that I can do this is because 3 is multiplying by itself. I've got 3 by 3, there's 2 of them. That's where my exponent or power of 2 is coming from. And it's just a nice, neat way of writing my final answer. OK, let's go again. 24. If you think that you know what's going on now, pause the video and try and do this yourself. If you're a bit stuck still, you can follow me on for this one more. OK, so 24. I want to find its prime factors. So what can I divide into 24? Right. Looking at my list, yeah, 2 will definitely go in. And it'll go in 12 times. Right, I need to go again. Looking at the list, oh yeah, 2 will go into 12 again, won't it? And it'll go in 6 times. Can I go again? Yeah, actually, 2 will go into 6 also, won't it? And it'll go in 3 times. I'm not there yet because I haven't got down to 1. But what will go into 3? Oh yeah, 3 will go into 3. And it'll go in once. OK, great. I've got to 1, I'm done. My prime factors are listed down the side. 2 by 2 by 2 by 3. I can write 24 as the product of its prime factors. Have a think now for a second yourself. Is there a nicer, more condensed way that I can present this using exponents? OK, so let's look at the 2s. I've got 2 popping up here 3 times in my multiplication. So I can use an exponent on that. I've got 2 to the power of 3 by 3. Let's go again. We've got 28 this time. Now, at this stage, pause the video and give this a bash yourself. And then play and see if you're right. Right, looking back up to my list of primes again now. What will go into 28? Well, 2 will go in 14 times. And then 2 will go into 14. And that goes in 7 times. And then 7 will go into 7 once. I got to 1, I'm done. There's my prime factors. I can write 28 as the product of its prime factors, 2 by 2 by 7, or 2 squared by 7. OK, one last question, so. What are the prime factors of 36? OK, I can definitely divide by 2. That's going to go in 18 times. What will go into 18? 2 will go into 18 9 times. What will go into 9? 3 will go in 3 times. What will go into 3? 3 will go into 3, just the once. I got to 1, I'm done. There are my prime factors highlighted. 36 is 2 by 2 by 3 by 3, or 2 squared by 3 squared. Don't forget, you can watch this video as many times as you need to until you perfect your approach to finding the prime factors of a number.